Hey, what's up, everybody? Nick here, back uh, at Full Spectrum Laser, here to show you a little bit more about RE3. Now, in today's, uh, I guess, uh, video, we're going to show you how easy it is to design using RE3. It's a lot like you would use uh, Inkscape or anything else to um, design with. It's got some of the same basic vector tools, but if you're new to uh, designing and especially new to using a laser, uh, RE3 is really special in the way that it actually allows you to draw vector lines, which allows the laser to actually trace around uh, the shapes you've made uh, right here in the software. So. Uh, I guess just for instance, if we had a, uh, a small image inside the workspace, let's say we drag this image in, oops, I guess we don't need to draw a box around that. I want to have my pointer uh, to use, there we go, select this. So let's say we had this box that we wanted to, uh, you know, do an engraving of and then cut it out. Well, uh, doing the engraving is really easy. We just drag in this box. It's uh, going to do the engraving. Seems pretty easy. Um, it's got a neat little 3D effect here. But if we want to cut this out, uh, we can actually just go up here to our rectangle box and we can draw a rectangle uh, right around it. If you have your snaps on, it'll actually snap right to the size of your uh, box if you want. Or you can uh, snap the size of the box and by holding shift and option, uh, make it just a little bit bigger, but the same exact shape as the box. Uh, so just like that, you can see how easy it is it would be to, uh, you know, kind of create on the fly uh, using uh, bitmaps and JPEG. So if you had an image on your phone, you wanted to quickly drag over and then draw a box around it, engrave it, cut it out. It'd be really easy to do like this. But let's say you want to do something a little more complicated. Let's say you had, uh, uh, whoops, let me get the box uh, back going. Let's say you had this box and you wanted to do something a little creative for it. Let's say you're going to make a picture frame. Well, first thing you want to do is make sure this picture frame is the right size, right? So since you have this selected, you can see over here that the position, size, and angle is all located. So uh, let's see, the size uh, five by seven is typical. We'll do seven height, uh, five width. Now, this is a typical size of a photograph, right? So um, how would we go about making a frame for this? Well, I'm gonna take a copy and paste of that box I just had, which you can do by hitting Control C, then Control V. And then I'm just gonna draw another box by holding Option a little bit bigger uh, than that five by seven frame. Now, that five by seven, again, uh, the smaller one is gonna be the exact size of your photo. Um, the other rectangle. So we're going to make this inner one just a little smaller than five by seven. That way there's a little overhang for it. So when we take these two images together, we're actually going to go up here and use this uh, uh, tool here called difference. And by clicking difference, we now have a compound object that is both of those things together, which would actually cut out the inner and outer uh, uh, lines of the shape. But let's say you wanted to get just a little fancy. You can actually go and grab uh, another tool, like let's say the star tool. Let's say you have an all-star on the team who just uh, hit his first home run. And you want to take a picture and let him know how awesome uh, he or she is. You can take this um, star, put one there. We'll copy and paste another one for the other side. As you can see, you can easily rotate uh, the star as well as change the size. And adding two stars there, you can just select all three of those objects and actually we're gonna go up here and hit union this time and actually put all those together so now you have an all-star shaped uh, picture frame there for your uh, favorite uh, baseball or softball player at home uh, and then even better you can take the text tool and right here uh, we'll just make that a little bit bigger um, all star okay we'll go back grab our tool we'll make this just a bit bigger so we can see. Now this is just like any other, um, you know, any other text tool. You come over here to the right, and we can put that in the center, and then we can actually change the font to, let's say, Abril, and then we'll increase the font size to 60. And there you go. We got All Star right there. Now you're thinking, well. I want to engrave All Star. I don't want to just have it vector marked. Well, if you wanted to vector mark it, all you'd have to do is change the color of this vector to, let's say, yellow. And then what you could do is you could have the orange cut out and then the yellow just do a light marking. But let's say, you know, Nick, you actually want to do a nice deep dark engraving there on that. Well, that's not a problem. You know, all you have to do is come over here and select this item here, which says rasterize. And once you rasterize that layer, as you can see over here, you're going to get a bitmap uh, layer as well. Now, this bitmap layer just did the outline there. So let's say you wanted to do a, um, a solid fill on this. So that was all filled in. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select black first, then we're gonna select to fill it. 
Now, as you can see, that just filled in all the text as well. So you have a bunch of options here as to how you want your engraving to look. So again, you can just hit rasterize and then you will get a nice rasterize layer um, of that text so you can engrave. So I just deleted the text line because we don't need to follow those vector lines as we go about. Uh, so this will actually engrave the all star, then do the cut out right there. And as you can see, there's endless things you can do inside of RE3 as far as design. And there's actually a whole other video you'll see here at the end if you'd like to click on it, uh, showing you all the different clip art we have in side of the um, uh, RE3 software as well. I hope this uh, video helped you out and helped you start to get designing using your RE3 software. Thanks for watching.